Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the best camera tips, tricks and features of your Samsung Galaxy Fold 5. Okay, so let's start from the basic functions and when we are in the photo mode we can actually quickly adjust uh, the brightness level. You don't have to use the pro mode, so what you have to do, just click on the screen and then move the sun icon to the left or the right side to change the brightness level. You can also do this automatically by tapping on the screen. If you want to get uh, the preview of the photos that you are taking, you have to click right here and take a look right now and I'm going to take the photo, it will appear right here. So that's also a very uh, nice feature and of course you can move between these photos. So you don't have to open the gallery right here, you can find the quick preview in this place, but if you want to open it and just be sure that everything is fine, uh, you can just do this by tapping on each photo. To turn it off, just click uh, right here. And next, uh, when you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can also do this uh, with these two fingers, that's like very obvious and very common way. But uh, you can actually just use the presets. So when you click on each preset, you will unlock more presets like 10x, 20, even 30. When you go for that uh, big zoom, you can find small uh, icon in the right upper corner with the preview to navigate easier. Uh, but also you can click and hold on already selected preset and you will unlock the slider. So with the slider, you can also zoom in on or zoom out very smooth with your one hand. So we can decide how to do this. And next, you can also increase uh, details on your photos by uh, turning on the 50 megapixel mode. So you have to select the aspect ratio and then select this 50 megapixel mode. And also I can recommend you to turn on the flashlight. And let me show you the comparison between a photo like that with the flashlight and the 50 megapixel mode. There we go, it was taken. Let's take a look for it. As you can see, it looks like that. We can fi actually find a lot of details, but uh, it looks like this flashlight doesn't really work well. Let's try to do this one more time. Okay, I guess that right now it looks a little bit better. Yeah, right now the quality of the photo is better uh, without the flashlight, so. Uh, I'm not sure if it's not working properly all the time or, or in this one photo, but yeah, looks like there is like problem with the flashlight on this device. So yeah, let's get rid of the flashlight and just take the normal 50 megapixel photos. Uh, next, if you want to add some delay to your shutter, just click right here and select one of this option. There's the countdown on the screen and the photo was taken. If you want to take photos with your back cameras, you can do this by turning on uh, the preview. So the cover screen is turned on and right now when you move it like that, as you can see, uh, you are able to take the photos uh, with your back cameras. So it will be like big difference. Okay, it just turns off for some reason. Let's go back. Okay, it looks like the it just split the screen. Okay, there we go. And as you can see right here, uh, we can take the photos with the back cameras. We can take the selfies with the back cameras. So we'll get amazing quality because um, this screen, uh, I mean this camera right here, covered under the screen works terrible. Uh, I won't recommend you to use it actually, just just go for these back cameras. And then we can also click uh, right here to add some filters. As you can see, it's, it's changing the color and also the temperature. And with the slider, you can also adjust the strength of each filter. Okay, right now it just catch the focus, but it was looking terrible. Okay, right now everything is fine. I was just wondering if there was some kind of the issue with the camera, but never mind.
So uh, next, I can also recommend you to open the settings where you can find other very useful options. Like uh, you can simply swipe your shutter button to take the burst shot or to create the GIF. So let me show you how it works. It works like that. So we can take 100 photos in each series. You can also take the photos with the volume buttons. Take a look. You can also click and hold one of these buttons to take also uh, the series of the photos. But when you go back to the settings, uh, we can find options called uh, the shiny methods uh, where we can find like voice comments. So we, when you turn it on, right now we can take the pictures by saying smile, cheese, capture, shot, or record videos by saying, saying record video. There's also the floating shutter button and the gesture for our palm to take selfies or start recording selfie videos. So let's try to use these three options. Let's uh, say in the photo mode or in the video mode, record video. As you can see, the voice method is working. Let's try to turn on the selfie camera and let's show the palm of my hand. As you can see, when it's detected, um, it starts uh, recording the video. It's also taking the photo, so there's this uh, yellow frame around my palm and the photo uh, is simply taken. As you can see, there's also this floating shutter button, so we can just take the photos uh, by tapping on this button. If you want to get rid of that, you can just click on it, hold, and then tap on this uh, red line um, to, to turn it off, but you can also drag it back or drag it like that. Next, I can uh, recommend you to open the more modes where you can find other useful options. For example, there is the single take option, and this option allows us to record like 10 seconds video, and from this video, our smartphone is going to create some other modes. I mean, it will take like crop photo, the time lapse video, slow motion video, um, the highlight video. So let me show you how it works. You can, before the recording, you can also click right here uh, to customize. So there is like uh, options that you want to capture. So it will capture like crop shots, filter pictures boomerang clips and other stuff if you want to select or unselect you have to just click right here so let me show you how it works you have to click uh, here and then just move your phone around on the things that you want to capture there we go it was taken and right now you have to wait for like few seconds until your phone starts I mean finish producing uh, this this options so when you open for the gallery as you can see currently now the single take creates four different functions for four different modes so when you swipe up like that we can find the boomerang clip uh, that's the slow motion clip that's the original video and that's uh, that's just the photo Yeah, so, so as you can see, that's uh, that's how it looks. In this more modes, we can find also other useful options. Like, for example, uh, we can take super slow motion videos. I can actually show you how it looks. So let me just grab, for example, this button. Let's see if it was taken. Okay, that's weird. It looks like it wasn't actually taken, so let's try to do this one more time. Let's see right now. Okay, still it doesn't capture anything. Let's try to repeat. 
maybe right now it was taken. Hope so. Okay, so I have to definitely do this uh, faster, so I'm gonna click on the button. Maybe right now. Yeah, it was too quick actually. Let's try to do this one more time. Okay. Just be patient while taking this kind of the videos. And as you can see right now, we can find this button. So yeah. Uh, honestly, that's all camera tips and tricks for the for this device for the Samsung Galaxy Fold 5. Hope you like it. <laughs>